We're going to look at three different ways of using rates of reaction graphs. The first one is for us to calculate the mean rate of reaction from a whole graph. Um, this reaction starts uh, here, and we can see it's just about finished here. Um, and all we have to do for this one is work out the total time taken and the total amount or change in the reactant or product. In this case, this is carbon dioxide being produced. So we're looking at the total amount of carbon dioxide being produced. So the graph starts here and it ends there. So the total amount of carbon dioxide being produced is 50 cubic centimeters. So we can write that underneath. So total volume of carbon dioxide produced is 50 cubic centimeters. And the time it took to do that uh, was from zero at the beginning until it just became flat there, um, which is 60 cent uh, seconds. So total time taken is 60 seconds. So in order to calculate the rate that um, in this case, this is going to be the mean rate of reaction because we're looking at the rate over the whole um, uh, period of the or course of the reaction. So the mean rate is going to be equal to 50 cubic centimeters, the uh, change in amount or change in volume or product divided by the time taken. So our mean rate here would be 0 0.83 centimeters cubed per second. The second thing that we want to do is have a look at calculating the rate of reaction between two particular points. Uh, this time, I've said here we're going to calculate the rate of reaction between 20 seconds, so 20 seconds here, and 40 seconds. So um, we need to work out the change in volume, or change in the amount of the product. So drawing a line from 20 seconds up to the line and across to here, we can see that that crosses the x, uh, the y-axis at 34 cubic centimeters, and then we do the same at the 40 second point, and that will cross the line here at 46 cubic centimeters. So the difference or the change is going to be 46 minus 34 which means the amount of carbon dioxide produced in that time is 12 cubic centimetres. And the time taken, the distance between here, between 20 and 40, is going to be 20 seconds. So again, the rate is going to be um, the uh, amount or change in product or reactant. In this case, it's the increase in product, carbon dioxide gas, divided by the time taken. So we go rate equals the change which is 12 cubic centimeters divided by the time, which is 20 seconds. And therefore, in this case, the rate between 20 and 40 seconds is 0 0.60 centimeters cubed per second. So that divided by that. The final thing that we want to do is to be able to calculate the rate of reaction at a particular point, in this case, at 30 seconds. This is a little bit more involved. So the first thing I want to do is get my ruler and just mark a point on the line there at 30 seconds. So I've used my ruler, I've marked 30 seconds. Let me go from here up to the line there. I'm then going to need to draw a tangent. Um, and I'm gonna make the tangent line as long as possible. You'll see why in a minute. So my tangent um, is in line with the curve as much on uh, the same at the uh, uh, above it and below it and then that becomes my tangent like that. So what I then want to do is complete the triangle because I'm going to need to know the distances of these sides like that and then finally like that. So I've drawn my tangent um, using a ruler and then completed the sides of the triangle. I've done one another one just to be sure that I get the uh, values right. Okay, so this is exactly the same as the one I've just done. I've just done a little bit of working on this. So we need to work out how um, much carbon dioxide is produced, and that's going to be the length of this side of the triangle relative to the scale over here. So this uh, starts at 22 cubic centimetres, 
and ends up at 60 cubic centimeters. So by making my triangle really big, I've made this calculation a lot easier, especially on the x-axis. So the distance between 60 cubic centimeters and 22 cubic centimeters, so that take away that is 38 cubic centimeters. So that's the volume of carbon dioxide that's been produced. And then because I've made it such a big triangle and it's really easy along here, and this just goes from zero to 60, so this is 60 seconds. So again, what we then do effectively, we're doing uh, the change in y-axis divided by the change in uh, x-axis to find the gradient of the line here. So we're saying that the rate is equal to uh, the change in the y-axis, which is the amount produced, divided by the change in the x-axis, which is the time. So rate equals 38 cubic centimeters over 60, and the rate at 30, uh, 30 seconds is 0 0.63 centimeters cubed per second.